the song. Uh, and let, Pete, let me remind everybody, uh, Ike Live is the only live webcast slash podcast that does an MTB unboxing. Is that true? That is true. We're Maybe. the only one that does it live. There's a lot of those corny dudes that do it on YouTube, <laughs> but uh, uh, we're the only ones that do it live. Careful. So. They're sensitive. There's liquid yeah. mayhem All right, so here. Beck, you got your product. You want to talk a little bit about it and then yeah. pass it on to Pete? We've got the Shad Scent Liquid Mayhem. Now, I do want to tell everyone, if you're a, an avid follower of this show, you might think you can eat your liquid mayhem. Right. We don't recommend that. <laughs> no. That was a prank. That was a they prank. They were filled just for us. Right. Don't eat it. Don't eat your liquid don't mayhem. Don't eat it. But Put this it on is your great bait. stuff. We, these are these are some um, some of our favorite Canadians. Yes, great scent. Yeah, Pete digging that box. What do you got in there? Show us something interesting. Well, you know, this is interesting. Oh, now look at that. Uh, let, 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 we uh, we need to put that in the back eventually. Get Brian to get a close up on that. That is interesting. Uh, that is really. What do you got there? Top water. It's a top water. It's a it's a popper style bait. It's a lucky craft. It's black. It's black as. With, dude, this, uh, some chartreuse dude, highlights this, on it. This reminds me of the Aaron Martin bird theory, right? The blackbirds, right? the black and yellow. The blackbirds are going crazy in the reeds right yes. now. Yes. So wait, when do you throw a black bait? Is it like clear water, mucky water? You blow. You you always throw a black bait when the bass have a tendency to bite a black bait better. Oh, good <laughs> it's, it's key. Uh, Bass University knowledge I've coming through right there. I've only ever been allowed to throw <laughs> soft plastics until recently. Yeah. So I base mine on the most, you know, sparkle it'll give yeah. in the water. No, you, so I'm not very aware on yeah. this hard To bait. me, you actually, you hit the boat, you hit the two times that a mm. black bait works. You, you said them both, which is to me, it's uh, low light, dirty water. A black bait is great because it's all silhouette. So at night, you see a lot of dudes throwing a straight black bait just because it's all, you know, just black. It blends in, but it, it mm -hmm. provides that big silhouette. The other time is clear water. Dude, something about black and clear water. Pete, you're the master of it with soft plastic. It's, it's like the absence of color. The absence of color and, in clear water. What does and, it piss them off? I can't explain it. They have an affinity toward it. It's like everything in nature has black in it at yep. some point. Uh, they can see it for a mile away yeah um i i just can't explain it other than you know there are times when it's, it's absolutely key it's key you know so you got you just got to have those you got to have your bait you know people a lot of people don't throw a black crankbait hardly and, at all and a lot of companies don't make a black crankbait right. rapala is one of the few that's right rapala is one yeah. of the is few. that the same logic with a black frog it is the same logic with a black and frog. it works for a frog right it works for a jig a lot of people will throw it black in those color patterns for some reason but when they get to top waters and buzz baits crank and baits crank baits they they're they're but, just kind of like brainwashed away from throwing it yeah but it's 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 a color choice that you've got to factor in pete, yeah do you, do you cover that in bass you i do oh, okay yeah cool. pete you uh here let me let's keep going with the mtb unboxing and i always say this brian the carpenter one of the cool things about this box is it forces lures in your mm -hmm. hand that you wouldn't normally buy. And the one that I picked, dude, this is really cool. It's a Optima swim bait. What? Yeah. Brian the Cupboard, I'm serious. This is actually a really cool bait. Yeah. It's an Optima swim Try bait. Normally when you think about swim baits, you think about those giant tennis yeah. shoe. And Optima is a West Coast company. They make a lot of those big ones. Dude, look at that little thing. It looks like a Ned Rig swim dude, bait. Dude, it is a small swim bait. Dude, look at that thing. It looks like, it could unique. look like a shad. It could look like a little owl wife, a little minnow. And a lot that's of the, dope. A lot of those thread and shad dope. are just like that. They're they're short and short and small. Tall. Two three inches tall mm -hmm. across the back. Mm -hmm. That's right. Optima swim bait. Very cool. Bait. There it goes. Good that's highlight good bait, of it, man. Got these uh, bio spawn. Uh, it's called a bio crawl. Bio spawn. Bio Seth fighter. I tell you what, it's 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 like it's pretty dense. You know, I mean. Texas rig that thing. Probably throw this in the back of a buzz bait, right? Sure. Skip it across the top of the water. And these, Texas rig it? Yeah. These, Jig uh, trailer? You can break them apart. You keep them together. It's pretty cool. But it's Pete would wacky rig it and dead stick it. <laughs> yeah. uh, real quick. Nice. Cool. I, I'd pretty put cool. it down after my fifth five pound. Brian a Carpenter. I would, I would punch <laughs> shot it. Yeah. Look what else is in there, Brian a the Carpenter. I'm looking. Bam. Sluggos. What? Sluggos. Get out of here. Oh, Blast from the past. You Don't count them out. Cool. They worked back in the 80s. They still work. 
Look at that thing. Lunker City Sluggo. Do you remember how good they were back in the day? Dude, the Sluggo and the Finesse Fish. Pete and Dude, I got blasted caught for everything. Oh, last show. We crushed them all back in the day. Lows. Everything. Who's next? That was amazing. You know, you know what? I looked at those sluggos and I thought, you know how the Kentucky Lake guys are doing it with that Mega Bass um, jer Jerky J? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's and I looked at the. I'm not, that's a sluggo. Yeah, slender. Just yeah, letting the it, tail do its, its own a, thing. It's the same shape. No big giant boot making the bait do weird stuff. Right. It's just letting natural. The, letting the vibration. Yes. Of that. Yes. Making the tail quiver. Very cool, dude.